Hello, good people. It's Rob Lee. A woman on the channel, or a man, I don't know who it is. I think it's a woman named Destiny Coach, asked me, why did I do the 33 video? Why did I do something over and over? And it kind of irked me. It didn't really anger me. I just, this is the same person who asked somebody else on the channel, why are you quoting Bible verses when we have a Bible? I found it very, very strange indeed. Destiny Coach, that's your name, right? Well, I do it so because I want to remind the brethren on this channel that we are constantly dealing with liars and deceivers. For example, you, Destiny Coach, I went to your channel just to see what you may follow. You follow Richie from Boston and Dana Ashley, Ashley, two liars, deceivers. Why would you do that? If you're following Jesus Christ, why would you, why would you follow a liar? Why would you follow somebody that is a liar? Now, this Dana Ashley woman that, that, that you follow, I challenged her to a debate a year ago on my old channel. She refused when I told her Mystery Babylon was Jerusalem. She told me it was the United States. I challenged her to abate. At first, she accepted. It probably took her 15 minutes to contact her handler, and her handler told her, don't do it. He'll, he will win because he knows what he's talking about because he really follows Jesus Christ. You're just playing a game. That's who you follow, but yet you ask me, why would I do the video? Because I want to remind the brethren on this channel, that we are constantly dealing with liars and deceivers and we must be aware of what we watch, what we look at, what we hear because we are constantly dealing with lying serpents, snakes, the enemies of Jesus Christ. That's why. That's why I do it constantly because that's what we are up against. We have to be careful of what, what we amuse our, ourselves with. So that's why I'm constantly telling the people to be aware. Now, what we're going to do here, folks, I want to... I want to you to watch a video out of Ferguson and I want you to remember what Ferguson Missouri when we have the supposed shooting and and we know that the protests and all the riots were real but what was really going on there with a Babylonian professor named Melissa Click and the surrounding chaos because remember you're dealing with evil spirits and most folks tend to forget this they just don't understand the Bible tells us in Ephesians 6 that we wrestle against evil spirits and these evil spirits are what drive those in the flesh Jesus Christ cast out evil spirits out of people all the time. People just act like it didn't happen. I want you to watch this video, and then at the end of it, I have a video that I did two years ago that I hope some of you will gain something from. Maybe you can share it with somebody. And in the next video that I will be doing, in the next four or five days, we're going to talk about complete faith and trust in our Father. Complete, 100%, not some of it. The name of Jesus, the name of our Father, and what's going on there because there's something really big there that's taking place, and that's what I want to do next. So I encourage you to watch this video. I hope you get something from it. May the Father bless each and every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. All you need is Jesus Christ, folks, if you will seek him completely, completely. May the Father bless you all.
particular situation, and that was heroic. We practiced this not more than three weeks ago. We took every one of our officers, our patrol officers, and a couple of hundred officers from the Los Angeles Police Department, and we practiced the exact scenario that played out today. We played out today. And I, and I was talking to the officers involved in this particular incident. Police Department, and we practiced the exact scenario that played out today. We played out today, and I and I was talking to the officers involved in this particular incident a few minutes ago, and they said that that training was critical to how they responded to this. Walking out of the National Institutes of Health today, Nurse Nina Pham said she felt fortunate to be free from Ebola and eager to go home to Dallas. But first, a stop at the Oval Office and a hug from President Obama to send the message that someone cured of Ebola is not contagious. Although I no longer have Ebola, I know that it may be a while before I have my strength back. So with gratitude and respect for everyone's concern, I ask for my privacy and for my family's privacy to be respected as I return to Texas and try to get back to a normal life and reunite with my dog, Bentley. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. The next marriage landscape is changing across the nation today. Good evening, I'm Sheree Palella. And I'm Mike Dardis. Today, a federal judge ruled the ban in Indiana violates the Equal Protection Clause of the Constitution. A federal judge struck down Indiana's ban on same-sex marriage today, calling it unconstitutional. The Church says yes to allowing ministers to perform same-sex marriage. Yeah, it's the largest Christian group in the country to do so. If you're looking for something besides a pill to treat depression, the Fisher-Wallace stimulator can be used 20 minutes twice a day to treat mild to severe depression. Our device has no serious side effects, and most patients see results within two to four weeks. If you're not completely satisfied with the results, you may return the device for a refund within 60 days of purchase. Speaking to her community on Saturday, Cassidy quoted a passage from Harry Potter. Says, Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If only one, if one only remembers to turn on the light. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If only one, if one only remembers to turn on the light. it was in that moment I could literally just feel the darkness, the evil, that dark, dark presence flee out of that theater. This is a very, very dark occurrence. I mean, 70 people got shot. This is one of the largest mass shootings in American history. At the same time, the light is shining bright. And it, I never would have thought that CNN would have us on Newsroom and Anderson Cooper and to shine the light in the middle of the darkness. But from all this darkness. I want to show them there's light away from the darkness, that I'll help them find the light because they were in the darkness. I want them to see me in light instead of darkness. There, there has to be some way that this darkness can be banished with light.
The artist, the illuminator, projected these words on the side of the Brooklyn Academy of Music. As you can see there, it says, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. The artwork sent a message of support from our city to the great city of Boston. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If only one, if one only remembers to turn on the light. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If only one, if one only remembers to turn on the light. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. only remembers to turn on the light. Cassidy Stay illuminating the crowd. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If only one, if one only remembers to turn on the light.
Well, Heather, three of the Dallas police officers who were killed and three of the officers who were injured were a part of the same unit, the Southwest Division. Hey, what's up, good people? It's Rob here. Let me preface this. If you were in a room with people that were plotting to kill you and were plotting your demise, but they were speaking in a foreign language, would you or would you not want to want to be able to speak their language? If you could speak their language, you would have some idea of what they're, you would know what they're saying, and you could prepare accordingly. The, you have to be able to understand how the serpents talk. They talk in numbers, they talk in words that most people do not ever catch on to. I tell you humbly, and I say humbly, I have been blessed to be shown this truth by the Almighty Father. Because there was a time I would have laughed at you if you would have told me this. But not now, because I know it is the truth. Club Disney, the 33. Notice the black and white. That's a Masonic checkerboard. That's the black and white colors. We're going to look at the darker side of Disney as we look at 33 and 13, the darker side of Disney, and we're going to look at Satan's servants. And we're going to look at mind control over our children, but even adults, because adults are just as bad, but the devil has preyed upon especially the children. He wants the children. The only way to break, to break free from this is through Jesus Christ. The devil wants to hold us and our children hostage because he and his family hate us because they can't be us. Here is Rihanna. Notice the title of her album is 77 Live. It's called Order Out of Chaos. Notice she has the one eye, Alistair Crowley. This is in your face. Notice the black and white Masonic checkerboard. Let's move on with 33. Club Disney, 33. This is important because Disney has played a huge role, huge role in the influence on even adults, but especially children. Three, based on the real life event, when a golden copper mine collapses, it traps 33 miners underground for how long? 69 days. Turn the nine upside down, what do you get? 66. Easy, easy people. Here's a book called 33 Minutes, back in the 60s and 70s when everybody was terrified about the so-called fake nuclear missile crisis. Fake, and I said fake, yes, you heard me right. Our fathers in control always, constantly. They, this guy wrote a book and said that it would take how long? 33 minutes for the missiles to get here. Bank of America, what do we have? 11, 11, 11. No, there's a, no those aren't marks. What is three times 11? 33. Phil Phillips, 76 gas and oil. 7 plus 6 is what? 13 is in one third. Let's move on. Dodge Ram. Now this one is incredibly telling because it's so blatant and right in the face. You can save up to $13,311. Really? Really? Notice that the ram doesn't even look like a ram anymore. The ram looks more and more like the devil because that's what this is. It's, it's, the, it's the devil mocking you and putting his coat in your face. Why wouldn't the savings be 12500 But note, I mean, do you really believe that it's 13311 What's the first two numbers? 13. There's your one third. There's your 13. What's the second and third number? 33. What's the third, fourth, and fifth number? 311. Three times 11 is what? 33. Let's move forward. Here's a Disney movie. A113. There's your 13. And there's your 11 times 3 is what? 33. Let's move forward, people. The biggest crime scene in the world. This is when Flight 17 went down on what? A Boeing 777. There's your order out of chaos. Flight 373 times 7. And the guy who wrote the article at the end of it, he had some important questions. Now, did he have 5 questions, 10 questions, 15 questions? No, he had 13 questions. He just happened to have 13 of all the numbers of all the questions because it was a ruse. It was a hoax. Apollo 13. There's your one-eyed symbolism. Apollo 13 is in one-third. 33 and one-third. These are serpents talking to you and mocking you. Apollo 13. Where does Apollo come from. I told you before, it comes from the Bible. It's the name of the devil, the king of the bottomless pit. Revelation 9-11, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. This is why 9-11, the attack of 9-11, happened on, this, on the date of September the 11th because of this verse. All right, people, let's move more. Let's go to the letter M. I want to show you something here. All right, let's go to the letter M. The letter M, people. Now, if you turn the letter M to the side, and if you turn it to a 90-degree angle, you will get a 33. 
You see that, right? That makes a perfect 33. Let's move forward. The letter M is also what? The 13th letter of the alphabet. Coincidentally, right? 13 is in one-third symbolism. Our Father will reveal to us the truth if we will just trust Him. That's the key. You have to trust the Father to allow Him to either show you the truth or put somebody in your life who is the real deal, who truly loves the Father, who will show you the truth. Double M's equal 33, and so does double C's, because C is the third letter of the alphabet. And many devils will change their names or be given a name at birth with dual C's or, du or dual M's. Chelsea Clinton. Marilyn Manson. This is how the devil named their children. They mock us, and it, they 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 believe they get power from it when they give their father homage, um, when they pay him respect. Here's Marilyn Manson. Notice the black and white. Notice the Mickey Mouse ears. That's important. This is mind control, not mind control over him, as the as the liars and the and the shields on YouTube will try to tell you. I'll get to that in a minute. No, this is mind control over adults and our children. Marilyn Manson, turn his name upside down, what do you get? Marilyn Manson, 33. Here's t two guys, now I want you to take a look at them. Now, one guy on the left is doing the split finger, right? He's doing the split finger, and this comes from the ancient, the ancient man. Okay, this is a serpent sign. And the one guy on his pants, this rapper named Farrell, it says BBC. At least that's what it's supposed to for the ignorant people to they will see it and think it means billionaire boys club. And I had a guy get mad at me and tell me, You don't know what you're talking about, man. That means billionaire boys club. Do you really think these these guys are billionaires, man? If you look at it carefully, what does it really say? It says thirteen, thirteen, thirty three, and C. You see it's it's, it's 13, 33, and then the letter C, which is 3. It's a clever way, just like the plate, how they weave the numbers in. This is another way to mock you, but some poor, pathetic kid whose poor mind is, the gears just can't get going. And no, I'm not trying to put people down. I'm losing patience with the people that don't truly want to learn, man. I mean, if you don't want to learn, don't come to my channel. My sword is planted in the ground, and I'm ready for battle. Spiritually, physically, it doesn't matter. Here's Justin Timberlake. Notice he's wearing, and he was part of Club Disney. Club Disney and this little Disney club is where they take these young devils, not MK Ultra victims, and they train them. They prep them for their career to mislead our children. That's what it is. Notice he's wearing the black and white. Notice the two girls in the video with him. They just happen to be wearing the number three. It makes a 33. You think that's a coincidence, people? Not hardly. Here's your modern, your modern 501C3 churches. Now we know C is a what? 3. Put it, put it there, what do you get? A 33. Notice the pyramids in the back. No, those aren't mountains. This is the truth. That's Hillsong Church. By the way, one of the most demonic churches in the entire country. How about Mandalay Bay? I'm not going to give an opinion about Mandalay Bay on YouTube. I, I will make a video about it. My microphone went out. I actually put the material together. It was actually fantastic. No, I'm not boasting. It was great. A friend sent me this from the uh, something called the Drudge Report. It said Mandalay Bay Massacre 58 did. And I was like, uh-huh, okay, Mandalay Massacre. There's my 33. 5 plus 8 is what? 13. Now, 33 plus 13 is 46, correct? Turn it backwards, you get a, a 64. The shooter, supposed shooter, was how old? 64. If you divide the 2 into the 64, it's what? 32. What floor did he supposedly shoot from? 32nd floor. Thank you. Let's move forward. Most of you know about the, you heard a month and a half ago about the, the Floyd Money Mayweather, get it? Money Mayweather, there's your double M's. The Mayweather and McGregor fight. This was huge, man. Uh, grossest fight ever in history. It was a psychological operation between black and white to divide and conquer. Notice the double M's. There's your 33. Notice the one-eyed symbolism. Notice the black and white. And when the fight first went off, what, and I used to gamble all the time, people, way too much when I was before Jesus came and got me. The odds just happened to be 33 to 1. Really? You really believe that's a coincidence? Not hardly, people. This is a Masonic psychological operation. Here's the president of UFC. He's given his press conference to promote the fight. What do you see? You see at the bottom the black M&M, &M, 33. Turn it upside down, oh, over to the right. What do you get? 33. Notice the girls are wearing their Corona tops, half naked. What is a double C? 33. Easy stuff, people. Once you learn how the devil talks 
it'll be easy for you. MK Ultra, a method of mind control used by numerous organizations for covert purposes, a mind control program developed by the CIA and tested on the military and civilians. Absolutely true, and this morphed into another program called Operation Monarch. This is where we get the butterfly. You will see the butterfly everywhere now. Celebrities, stars, which are really what serpents, demons, and innocent people wearing the butterfly. This is why they made the movie called The Butterfly Effect. Now, MK Ultra was real. Poor innocent civilians and military people were, were some hideous things were done to them. Here's where the ruse comes in. Here's where the lie comes in. All over Google, YouTube, you will see the liars, the shills, the video makers that will make videos and tell you that Lady Gaga, Rihanna, Katy Perry, the Cyrus Girl, all these others, that they are poor victims of MK Ultra. Well, the Bible tells us, to, tells us that they are of a corrupt seed that they are the ones that fell and they came to this earth and they bred and they had children and they have their own bloodline. How can they be victims? It, you see, what the devil is doing, he's, he's making his own children out to be the victim while he makes us out to be the perpetrator. And the people on YouTube love to go along with it because they get tossed a few coins only to be destroyed in the end. Here's Rihanna. What is she wearing? An upside down cross. What does it say? It says mind control. Mind control. Now whose mind is being controlled? Hers or the millions of young women who follow her and listen to her satanic witchcraft music? I ask you. You know when I first got censored on YouTube when the father took me a different direction I did two things I mentioned the children and the star of Rimfan and it was all hell from there and I knew that it was going to happen it was going to have to happen because I knew my father didn't bring me to YouTube to make money he didn't bring me to YouTube for fun he brought me to fight the devil and to teach the truth to my brothers and sisters they want to take our children from Jesus Christ and they want to give them to the devil that's what they want and they have done one hell of a job there was a time in this country when our children adults you you woke up with Jesus Christ you went to breakfast with Jesus Christ you had lunch with Jesus Christ you took Jesus Christ to school you even prayed in school to Jesus Christ you came home you had dinner you prayed again to Jesus Christ yeah you, you when mom and dad put you in the bed you prayed to Jesus Christ and this country was blessed because of it I don't care what the lying serpents tell you about how we took this country and we were did this this country was given to the people because the Almighty Father wanted them to have it. Period. Now, what happens when these serpents hurt one of the children of the flock of Jesus Christ? Read carefully. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. What Jesus Christ is, is basically telling you, let me paraphrase it for you, he's basically telling you you'd be better off to tie a boulder around your neck and jump your ass in the middle of the ocean. Let's move forward. So what do our little ones, what do the children of today, and even, even the spiritually stunted adults who are weak, what do they have to deal with? It's peer pressure. It's peer pressure from their, pe uh, from their peers. It's pressure from society, the television, social media, and then there's the drugs, man. And, you know, I grew up and I had a pretty wild life. Pretty bad. I'm not going to get into it. I never have. I've told a few people privately from YouTube, but I'm not going to get into it. They are making drugs nowadays that most of us can't even comprehend. In the United States, Europe, certain places in, in the Middle East, they are creating drugs to harm our children, creating them. You see our children and even adults walking around with what? A tablet, a phone, what? Stuck right up to their face. You see, they want us deceived. They want us away from the truth. You get on YouTube. At least 50% of every video on YouTube is a lie. It's a lie meant to deceive you. The true truthers that are on YouTube are either censored or banned. Or, I mean, if you see a channel and it's got 800,000 views, I mean, I mean, starting as in, in May when YouTube changed everything, the real truthers are banned and they're being weeded out now. Let's go further. Facebook, social media, do nothing, do nothing but harm our children with what? Misdirection, misinformation, disinformation. They 
make them conform to the image of the devil, not to the image of Jesus Christ. Our children go to school. Again, the peer pressure. They, they are taught hate. They are taught historical lies. They are taught falsehoods. If you have the fortune or the misfortune of going to a university or college, and I've told many people you would be better off to put your children in a trade school, at university or college, the hate and the ignorance and the evil ramps up times 10. If you go to college and you are a white, poor, pitiful kid from the coal mines of Kentucky or West Virginia, you are still considered white privilege. If you are a black person and you come from a family of multi-millionaires, you are still considered underprivileged. You see, you've had it rough. This is the evil that takes place because the devil hates us. Here's white privilege from the early 20th century when children would, would work 60 hours a week with, and some of them with no shoes. Entertainment, just like government. You see the word mint on the end. It means, it means mind, your mind, as in government. It means to stare the mind. Entertainment, to control your mind, to entertain your mind. Your mind, our children's mind. It starts in Hollywood. And we set our children in front of the television. See the, see, the TV has become the babysitter. We just plop our children down in front of the TV. And now adults, they spend, they get off work. Or some, they spend all day right in front of the TV. Or they listen to the satanic music, the witchcraft that is meant to put spells on you. Haven't many of you listened to a song and said, I just can't get that song out of my head. I mean, it's because the song has cast a spell on you. No, I'm not saying that all music is bad because in the Bible, the Father was played music by certain people. David would play music to the Father. What we're listening to today, it would hardly appeal to our Father. Hollywood, it's a 24-hour IV of filth, lies, and witchcraft. That's what it truly is. Then the serpent will march out his servants. These beings will come out and they are designed to take away from the parents and put it on them. Jay-Z, little, little boys, even, even adults will emulate him. They want to be like him. You see what's on his shirt. Do what thou wilt. Do what you will. Do what you want to do. It doesn't matter about the Father. It doesn't matter about Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter about your own family. Do what you want to do. It comes from Aleister Crowley. It's a satanic slogan meant to, m meant to manipulate. Forgive me, I'm having to do this in a hurry because I don't even have much battery l left on this and I really wanted to do this. It's important to me. Here's Taylor Swift, and she has a huge influence over the young women in this country. Nimrod, Osi Osiris, Isis, the resurrection, the X. This is what's being portrayed. Notice that she wakes up. These monsters are, tr are going to bring back ancient demons, ancient beings. That's what's being portrayed right in your face. Here's Rihanna again. Notice the black and white. The black and white. What is she wearing? Upside down crosses. Why do they mock J Jesus Christ? Why not Allah? Buddha, Krishna, Shiva, Kali, Thor. Why not? Because they're just demons. They're low-level demons. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ sits at the right hand of the Almighty Father. Jesus Christ will return to this earth to tread the wine press of the wrath of the Almighty Father, which means Jesus Christ is coming back to earth to seal his children, and then he's going to go on and ass kick and spree all over this earth. That's the God's honest truth, period. And these creatures know it, and they hate him for it. But you're not going to stop it. You can't stop it. The vast majority of the world and the United States are under a demonic spell from TV, music, games, Google, porn, and all entertainment. Man, I could do a video alone on what the gaming industry has done to our children. They have desensitized murder. Violence has become a part of the norm now. Let's look at Mickey Mouse, the darker side of, of Disney. Walt Disney was a pervert, man. And I'm not going to show all the evil sick pictures that I could man when I was doing this research man just sick twisted stuff man little ways that they've th thrown it in the real Disney you know his company was started in 1923 and it was about ready to go under until he created a character called Mickey Mouse yes Mickey Mouse yeah it saved his company it went on for 50 years he passed away but then a man named Michael Eisner he, t he, he took it over he and a guy named Frank Wells, and they have taken Disney to a new level of depravity. You see, this is what they really think of you people right here. This is what they truly think of you right here. 
Notice the black and white checkerboard. Here's the family. Everybody's out of shape. They're eating. They're sitting. They're watching TV. Notice the three piggies on the wall and the back to, to the right. That's what they really think of you. Now we're going to look at Satan's servants. These are the ones who manipulate us and especially our children. I want you to look at the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Notice the owls, right? You see the owls going up the staircase? You see the owls are around that, that the owl? The owl, it's a beautiful creature. I think it's lovely, but in, it's symbolic of Moloch. Moloch is the devil. In the Bible, the Israelites, which is our people, would sacrifice their children to Moloch. Has anything changed? Here we are, 5,500 years later, has anything changed? Men and women are still sacrificing their children to the devil. We're going to look at some pictures and put some music to it, and at the end of the video, I will say a couple closing words, and we will be done with this. God bless you all.
we're done with the video forgive me for going hoarse that's what they really think of Thank you.